Hello everyone and welcome to Domingo do Espírito Santo, uh, this very special day in the Azores and throughout the Azorean American communities and throughout the Azorean communities throughout the world, be it in Brazil, in Canada, here in the United States and also in Bermuda and other parts. Certainly in California, the presence of the Festas are part of who we are as uh, Azorians and they are more than social events in the Azorean idiosyncrasy. Uh, they carry a large level of symbolism, uh, lots of history and uh, lots of different stories, whether it be in fiction, in poetry, etc., that have been created around the festas de culto ao divino Espírito Santo. My good friend Vasco Pereira da Costa wrote a wonderful poem called Queen Nancy, translated to English by myself and my friend Catherine Baker, included in a book published by Portuguese Heritage Publications of California called My Californian Friends that I'd like to share with you on this special day. Lord, Holy Ghost, of whom I am a brother of your fraternity at the Stero, bless the abundance of the Californias, the meat, the wine, the bread, Offer in the name of your Tirsaida in the person of this queen of Atlantic festivities. Grasp the altered code, the silver tray, the scepter, the crown, the red vastness of her cape that is spread out onto the pavements. The sequence, the boasts, the rhinestones in her crown, although you may be reminded of gaudy movie sets. Rain down in tongues of light your wisdom upon Nancy, ephemeral queen of the Holy Ghost, in the consecration of the promised land of happiness. Reveal the full marvel and the supreme awe of the triangle, the circle, the square, and the mystery of your banner embroidered in flame red and gold, and the enigmas written on the altar of your empire. Accept that Nancy, just for today, represents in the pure wine, in the white bread, in the bull's blood, Ulysses' secret meanings wakened in you. Receive the queen of your day, of your my people. In human truth, I tell you that she is the people who crossed oceans and lands in a metal bird all the way to the Pacific in search of genuine happiness. Lord Holy Ghost, protect this schoolgirl, her terrestrial pronouncements, her maritime syntax. Bestow your blessings on her adolescence beauty, her graceful sway, her smile, her feminine perfection. Above all, relieve her pinched feet. Be not penitent, but on this day, Keep the gentle woman full of grace with you. May she be blessed amongst women. For Nancy is Juno, Gaia, Mary, Venus, Maya, Ceres. Refresh with your divine breath her overheated breast. And may she not be annoyed with the sweat or the weight of her regalia. And may a light breeze touch her like a loving wind does in the intertwined that ripes fruit that is given with the foliage. O Holy Ghost, of whom I am a brother of your fraternity at the Stero, I know that you will watch over Nancy, but make the daughters in the coronation always sing the paraclete and the rejoice of life. Understand in your infinite wisdom, attempt to grasp their language. Holy Ghost, my brother, my Californian friend. A poem by Vasco Pereira da Costa on this Domingo do Espírito Santo, a very special day for the Azores and for Azorians, wherever they may live, and also of Azorian descent. Tomorrow, the Portuguese Beyond Borders Institute, as part of the Azorian Diaspora Project from California State University of Fresno, will be celebrating the Azores. Uh, tomorrow is known as Dia dos Azores, and we'll be celebrating with uh, testimonials, with poems, with readings, 
in both of our languages, Portuguese and English, throughout the day, uh, throughout different social media platforms, certainly on Facebook and the Facebook page of PBBI Portuguese Beyond Borders Institute. So have a great Sunday, and we hope to see you tomorrow.